Okay, welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you a cool trick for Google Sheets that's going to allow you to store all of your data in one sheet and then automatically import it to another sheet based on your selection. So what it's gonna look like in practice is I'm gonna have a list of athlete names and I can select any one of the athletes and it's gonna pull all of their values into my import file here. And then all of this is actually being stored in a separate data sheet. Um, with all of their values and if I was to enter any new athletes in here I would automatically be able to pull them into this file here This is going to be a really powerful trick if you want to set up some of your databases You can have multiple sheets with different data in it and then be able to one click pull it into any sheet that you want So let's get after it Okay, so to start this off we have a blank sheet in Google Sheets and I actually have two sheets created. Um, one, this is the blank sheet where we will be pulling the data into. And then two, this is our data file. So this is a separate sheet that lives within the Google Drive and it has all of our data in it. For the purposes of this video, I just have a simple data set here. I have four athletes and then I have a bench, a squat, a deadlift value for them. And just so that I can check to make sure that everything works, we've just set those at 100, 200, 300, and 400 for each of the four athletes so that when I pull the values into my main sheet, I can just check to make sure that the formula is working correctly. Now, in order to do this, we're gonna need to take a few things from this, um, this file and pull them into the other one. The first one being, we actually need the sheet address. So in order to get the sheet address, we go up into the actual URL of the Google Sheet and it is the selection of characters right after um, the slash D or the slash D slash. We want all of this um, part of the address. So in this case, it's the one O P F F L L all the way across. And I'm actually gonna copy that. So I'm just gonna control C and then go back to my original sheet. I'm just gonna paste those values in because I'm going to need to reference them over and over again. And then the second thing that I'm going to need is the sheet name here. So in this case, if I look down here in the left or the bottom left hand corner, we know that this is sheet one. And I could name this whatever I want. And then if I did name it something else, I would have to use that reference. So sheet one is what we're gonna write down. So I'm just gonna write down sheet name and then in the next box, I'll just put sheet one. And that is just so that I can reference them in my formulas as I move forward. Now, moving on, the first thing that I wanna do is I want to actually have it here where I can select the athletes. So I'm gonna put athlete name, bench, squat, deadlift, and I will change the colors just to match our other sheet and I'm just gonna black that out and then put white text and that just signifies that it is a title. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these values in so that I can use them as an actual data validation. So now that I have the sheet name and the sheet address, I'm gonna use a function called import range. So what I'm gonna type is equals import range and then open that up and in quotations, I'm going to put this sheet name. So I'm gonna copy this, or sorry, this sheet address. I'm gonna copy that and go back to my import range function and paste that in there. And um, so it's gonna give me the actual, the, I'm gonna put that value in there. So I have equals import range and then bracket, quotation, the actual sheet um, address that we copied and then quotation and then comma, and it's gonna ask me what I want to import, so the range string. So I'm gonna put another quotation, and remember our sheet name is sheet one, S-H-E-E-T one, and when I put an exclamation after that, that tells Google Sheets that I'm referring to an actual sheet. And then the range that I want is, in this case, A2, and I want all of A. And I'm gonna close that back off, and when I hit okay here, it's probably gonna give me an error, but it didn't in this case because I've already done this on a separate tab. 
But if it did give us, give me an error, I would just have to click where it says Iron Man here and I'll have an error value in there. And there'll be a box to hit allow access. And when I hit that, it'll pull up these values here. So in this case, if we were to go back to our actual data file, we can see that we have Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, and Hawkeye. And when we come back to our sheet, we have Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, and Hawkeye. If I added another Avenger here, say Black Widow, and go back to my import file, you'll see in a second that Black Widow is gonna get added. And this is gonna work if we added um, more Avengers, say Black Panther, and keep going. And we can basically add as many as we want, and those will keep getting added to this sheet. So all that we've done is we've imported the range. We use the import range function, paste in the address for the actual sheet that we want to import, and then the sheet that we want to import from, sheet one, and we want from A2 all the way down to A. So in this case, what that refers to is when we go back to our data sheet, we're going from A2 and then all the way down A. So it is these values here. Basically, we have taken all of this column here, A, and any values that we put in there will appear in our import range. So now that we've imported those values, I want to make a spot where I can actually do a drop down menu and pull those over here. And based on which one I pull, I want to pull out, or based on which one I choose, I want to pull out their data out of the data file and have it match to that. Um, athlete in this case Avenger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a data validation. So I'm going to go data, data validation, and I'm going to select list from range. And the range that I want is going to be in this case H2, and then I want all of H. So I want H2 all of H, and hit OK. And I'm going to hit save. And what's that? What that's done is I've gone from H2, and then um, double dots all the way down H. So it's taking this whole column in the same way as we referenced before and I should be able to select any of those um, Avengers. And if I were to put in another one, say Captain America, when I come back here and Captain America gets added, I'm gonna be able to select Captain America as well. So this is really powerful because we can have one file on our Google Drive that essentially stores all of our data and then using this import range function, we can pull all that data into another sheet where we can analyze it or maybe we have an exercise list that lives in one of our sheets and then we pull it into another sheet or multiple sheets or, or kind of whatever we need to do. So then the last piece of this puzzle is depending on which Avenger I choose, I wanna pull in their values. So I'm gonna use that import range function again. So I'm just gonna copy that over so I'm going to copy this over and hit escape and I'm going to paste that in there and it should paste in all of my Avengers. But what I want to do is I want to actually match this function for the Avenger that I choose. So I'm going to use an index match. So I'm going to type index in front of the import range and for the import range I want to import column B2 this time because we know that our bench is stored in the B. So in this case, we want import range, um, the same address, and then sheet one, B2 to B. And then after that, it's gonna ask me what row do I want? Well, the row that I want is gonna be a match of the actual Avenger that we choose. So I want match, open that up, and the search key that I want is A2 because that is where we are choosing our Avenger from. And then after that, the import range that we want for the actual range is gonna be that same import range that we have already. So I'm gonna copy that and paste that in. And in this case, we wanna search in A2. And then I'm going to close that off, hit comma, 
and it's going to ask me what search type I want and I want a zero search type which means exact and I'm going to close all that off and hit OK and it should load our bench value. So what have I actually done here? We've indexed and we want to index the import range in column B2B which is where we store our bench values and then we want to match to A2 and we want to search in import range um, sheet 1 A2 to A. So then when I hit enter it should pull in that value and if I just copy this over it's going to give me an NA because we actually we have to fix some of our cell references. So for the squat we know that that's stored in the C column so I'm going to put C2 to C and then we still store our athlete names in A2 and when I hit enter it should give me my 100 and then we'll do the same thing for the last one that is stored in D2 to D and we still store our athlete in A2 and I'm going to hit enter I should be able to pull that in and now I should be able to select any of my Avengers and it's going to pull in those values and just to check if it's working let's go down to Captain America and type this is cool and when we go back to our import file if I were to select Captain America we should get those values in there this is cool so the import range function is really powerful and you can use it to store all kinds of data in a separate file and then pull all of that data into wherever you need to work on it. Um, really your imagination can run wild here. You can store any sorts of data in one of your Google Sheets and then be able to pull it into um, a master sheet where you want to do your calculations or something else. So I hope this trick helps you out. I'm getting a lot of questions lately about Google Sheets so I'm going to try to do some more videos around that. And if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification because that will let you know whenever I post a new video. And it would really help me out if you could share this video on social media and tag me in it because that is how I'm going to help this channel grow. And if this channel grows, I'll be able to pump out more content and answer more questions. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.